Hey, can we talk about constructive feedback in academic work? Something really got my attention about this when I was reading this article by Anna Verzhbitska. Does language reflect culture? In her introduction, she says, to many, a positive answer to the question formulated in the title would be axiomatic. To others, however, the question is much more problematic, as I found out when I gave a paper to the Sydney Linguistic Circle uh, on this topic. And she goes on to point out, my claims were challenged by Michael Halliday. And here I have to mention uh, to those of you who aren't aware that within linguistics, Michael Halliday is a huge, very important figure. He came up with a whole subfield of linguistics, so a, a highly respected person. So I can imagine, um, and I'm, I'm, I wasn't there, obviously, I'm just imagining that she would be going into that classroom to present her paper, and then she realizes, oh, Michael Halliday came to hear my talk. Well, I hope he likes it. And then it turns out, well, it would have been pleasant if at the end of her talk, he had said, Anna Virzbitska, you are a genius. That was excellent. Everything's wonderful. Wouldn't that have been pleasant? But he didn't. Apparently, he said something along the lines of, yeah, I don't think so. I think this whole thing you're trying to do is misguided. I don't think you can link culture with language in this specific way that you are doing. I see some problems with this. So my claims were challenged by Michael Halliday. Um, now, the point that I want to make to you about this is not if you get criticism, overcome it and persevere. I mean, sure, if you get criticism, overcome it and persevere, but that's not the point that I want to make. The point is, that it was tremendously valuable that he challenged these claims in this specific way. It was this that prompted her, um, well, I mean, she would have done careful thinking about this anyway, but pushback like this is what prompts academics to examine ideas more carefully and lay them out more carefully. So in this paper, then she goes on to say these, come up, comes up with these more specific guidelines about why Michael Halliday's concerns are not justified after all. So this is what I want to say to you is when somebody takes the trouble to show up and really pay attention to your ideas, take them in so carefully and with such attention that they are able to notice some major thing that may be missing or not well explained or based on faulty assumptions, if they can notice those things about your work, that is, okay, it's not fun at first to hear that, but it's a wonderful gift to give that to someone. This is important to consider because among my students nowadays, I see such deep reluctance to offer any criticism to anyone. It's wonderful that you want to be so kind with each other, but giving each other honest feedback on also the failings of other people's drafts so far, or however far they are with their projects, that is really valuable. So when giving feedback, you know, by all means, start by giving some honest praise specifically about some specific thing that's good about what the person has done. But don't stop there. I mean, unless the whole thing is just, wow, they just, everything's perfect. Then in some diplomatic way, ask about something that maybe is missing or maybe inaccurate or is not clear. This is a wonderful thing that you can do to help your colleagues.